Hey everybody, Luis Perez here with another iBooks author tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to look at how to add images to your documents to make them more visually appealing. And at the same time, we're going to look at how to make those images accessible to someone who's using a screen reader on their iPad. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose where I'm going to add my image. So we're going to add the image into this blank area here on the right side of this page. And there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can go into the media browser open that up and make sure you have photos selected and then you can choose from one of the programs uh, for images that you have installed on your computer such as uh, Aperture or iPhoto. Here I'm going to choose iPhoto and then I'll choose photos and I'll see the image that I want to uh, bring into my document. And I can just drag it in from my media browser. I can then position the photo and I can use the smart guides there make sure that it's right on the edge and then um, if I want to change the properties for that photo I can uh, bring up the inspector by clicking on the button with the eye in the toolbar and then I want to make sure that I'm in the widget inspector since images are added as widgets in uh, iBooks author I'll go over to layout and then on the layout I can add a title I can choose what the label will be so I can for instance say figure before the title and or illustration and so on. I can then add a caption. The caption is going to appear underneath the image and I can choose to not have the background. So if I want to check background I now will not have that gray background behind it. I can also play around with the margin so that the image is not touching the edges of that frame and then the final thing which is really important is to add an accessibility description. These descriptions work really well for people who use screen readers. Uh, they make the images more accessible. So we want to make sure this uh, description is brief and that it describes the content of the image rather than its appearance. We've provided an accessibility description, title, caption, and so on. We can also choose from different layouts. So we can have the text either on the top and bottom, just on the bottom. So it's gonna everything's gonna appear underneath the image, on the left, on the right, and so on. So there's different layout options. I'll then go ahead and close the inspector, and here's my image in my document. I can also uh, add an image just by dragging it in from the desktop. So first I will open up and create a new page. And so I can also just drag the image in from the desktop or from another location on my hard drive. The other thing is you can add a widget if you want to display more than one image at a time. Uh, there is a widget called Gallery. And so I can add that widget. I will position the widget and let's give ourselves some space here. I'm going to send this back. I, I like to design at 50% and that's a great tip because then you can see things a little bit better. So I want to make sure these two are aligned. And then uh, once I've added my widget, again I have all the same options for layout that I did for a single image. I could even add an accessibility description not only for the widget as a whole but for individual images. And so now that I've done that, that I've added my widget, I can go into the media browser. And I can choose several images. I can hold down the command key to select the images that I want to include in the widget. And then I'll drag them in and I'll see an indicator letting me know how many images are going to be added. I'll let go and it will add my images in. Now I can also use, um, these images are actually masked, so I can click on edit mask and then I can kind of reposition the images within the widget. I could even zoom in, so if I want to zoom in I can do that as well using the mask. And now I can preview the different images by clicking on the arrows underneath the images. So again, if I go into the inspector, go into the widget inspector, I have all the layout options. I can add an accessibility description on the layout for the widget as a whole.
or if I go under interaction I can choose individual images and I can add an accessibility description for each individual image. Here I can also add uh, new images if I don't want to go through the media browser I can just click on the plus here and that will bring up a finder window so that I can choose the images that way. So in this tutorial I've shown you how to add images to your iBooks as well as how to use the gallery widget to add more than one image at a time into your document.